All right, uh, biased MTASH here because I like combat in this game. This is the best event Genshin Impact has ever seen. In my opinion, this is the best event, hands down. Number one, getting Diona. Literally, in the first 10 minutes of this event. That is so amazing because she's actually really good in this new event. Um, like, a fantastic character overall. But to be able to get her super early is great. Instead of having to grind, you can just get her at the beginning. I love that for multiple reasons. Number one, I just want new characters all the time and constellations, right? But number two is if you don't like the event, you don't have to touch it. You don't have to play it and you can still get the character. With the official event, holy cow, you had to play a lot to get official. You had to play a ton. And, uh, you know, even with the uh, Theater Mechanicus and getting the free character back in 1.3, it required quite a bit of play time overall if you wanted to get the character. It wasn't crazy, but this one is so fast that you can get in, get Diana, and get out, and that's a bonus. But then you got the event shot. Now, I have a pretty big high score. Like, I think I got 7,500, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I have quite a bit of the shop already sold out. Uh, I got my crown of insight already. I got 300 primo gems. And, and these were so fast. Like, I'm talking, you can get these max out primo gems. Again, if you don't have a lot of playtime, you can get the crown and the primo gems relatively quickly. But I got a bunch of different books, and this is just the beginning of the event. We've got multiple stages as well to unlock more rewards. And I think it's been very fair and very generous so far. Um, I'm in love. I'm truly in love. It's difficult if you want it to be difficult. You can make it medium if you want to just get, you know, the majority of the rewards. Or you can make it easy if you just want to get a character. And I, I like that you have options. But if you want to turn it up to, oh my god, difficulty, you can. Which I'll show you in a minute. But even these little things, these are basic little challenges that you can do. And I'm going to tell you why I think this is like the main reason why I think this is the best event they've ever done. The customization. The customization. Because even if you don't have certain characters that are meta, you can build this, um, this passive thing. You, you, you slot these stones in that have different stats and you can build them around the characters you like or that you, you own. And that is chef's kiss. So let me just show you something. Really, really quick. Actually, I guess I can show you right here. So, we've got these different things here that give different passives. And so, you know, depending on the characters you're using, they're going to have very different effects. This one boosts your normal attack speed. But if you're using, like, a bow user, maybe you don't want to use that. Uh, if you're using Razor, this is cracked, right? Maybe you're using the Alfei. Maybe you're using a little Klee. I don't know what you're using. But getting some extra attack speed on some of these characters is going to be amazing. And, um, what, stop, go away. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, you've got some stuff here for Superconduct, which maybe isn't amazing, but there's so many different passives here. Elemental damage boosted, right? Normal attack damage boosted. We've got some other stuff here, getting their uh, attack increases. There's defense if you're using shields. And so you can build this around the characters that you're using. And this isn't even all of the, the bonuses. There's actually more bonuses uh, available. We just don't have access to them yet because there's going to be multiple stages here. Uh, so two more stages here where you can unlock more passives to customize it even further. And then we're getting into the event, and that is just... I love it. Let's talk about it. All right. So, you know, the majority of the game... I can just kind of unga bunga, do 120,000 damage, pretty simple, pretty easy. But this new thing, it is tough. If you want this to be harder than the Spiral Abyss, the toughest thing that's been in Genshin Impact, oh, you can do that. You can crank all this up here. I cranked it up so I've got 7,500. I think that's with all of the, uh, all of the challenges on it. And then all the HP and then this. Yeah, so this is 7,500 points. So... I couldn't do it in time here. I needed like another minute. But I was able to do this one here. And so 7,500 points. This was extremely difficult. And you have to remember, I've got Staff of Homa, C1 Zhongli, right? We've got we've got R2 Amos Bow. We've got a cracked free-to-play account. But even if you turn off a few of these things, you can get a lot of points. I think you can get to 7,000 relatively easily. I think that Enviosity actually did, and he uses mostly four-star characters, right? 
Now I think that Envy actually got 7,000 points. So if you have a bunch of five star characters and some healers and some good damage, like I'm telling you, you can get some really good points here. But even if you turn down the timer, and even if you bring down the HP, you can still get some really, uh, you know, solid amounts of points while it's being difficult. Or you can do it a little bit faster, right? You can do it a little bit faster and take some of these off. I think there's multiple different combinations that you can do here to make it attainable. And you only need 5,000 points for each of these phases, right? 5,000 the first, second, third, and the fourth. And you're going to get all your Primo Gems for clearing. You're going to be able to max out or pretty much max out the shop. At least you're going to be able to get all of these resources or all of these to buy stuff out of the shop. So I don't think that that is too much to ask. I really don't think that that's too much to ask. And, um, you know, this one, very, very tough. I had to use some really good characters. Um, I ended up using some food for once. You can use Adeptus Temptation. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I am just so happy with this because they did stuff like the hypostasis or hypostasis where you could jack up the difficulty, right? But they also have this customization here for your characters. And because of the difficulties and how accessible getting Diona is, you can get the major rewards very quickly on relatively easy difficulties. Maybe you're a mobile user. You can get Diona day one. I guarantee you can get Diona day one. And uh, there's no resin cost. There's no resin. This is freaking awesome content. Finally, Mihoyo, please do more of these. If you could do this monthly, if this rotated, if you could add something like this into the Spiral Abyss, oh my god. Uh, you, you have a gold mine here. And so I'm very happy with this. I'm really excited about it. Thanks, um, you know, for adding this content to the game. And I would love to know your thoughts because maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm biased because I love combat stuff. But this was a beautiful, beautiful challenge. Now, um, let's talk about beating it because it is pretty tough. So I want to give you some recommendations really quick. Obviously, I think that this is really, really important. This amplifier is important. I'm going to give you some recommendations here uh, if I can. Obviously kit it to the players or the characters you're using and for the first day here i think that it is very focused on ganyu if you have a ganyu she's going to be like the best character in the game one of the best characters in the game i think klee would do really well anyone who does charge attacks a lot klee yonfei the new character ganyu extremely extremely good and then anyone who's using shields now as the new days come that's going to change and, uh, you know, there might be some different modifiers in the different days, yada, yada, yada. But I would say that, for the most part, if you use the ones that I'm going to recommend here, you're good to go. So, let me just re remove all these because I was testing some stuff out. Uh, and we'll come back once I've got all the choices. Okay, so if you do have a Ganyu, this is going to make it pretty easy mode. So, number one, down the bottom here, boom, execution, charge attacks on opponents when they have 30% HP. This trucks them. Take Execution, this one is a no-brainer. Frostbite increases with your cryo damage with charged shots, beautiful. Use a shield character and use Iron Wall for more shield strength. This Focus and Crystal here, it just gives you energy when you're picking up uh, Geo Shards. And then the Refraction Crystal, you're getting elemental damage when you pick up these uh, the, the shards. And then I just use Star Crystal Dance uh, just because it gives you some attack and there's some Geo bonus, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but if you aren't using Ganyu, you could still use some of these for just charged attacks. You could throw in some other ones that uh, boost your normal attack. Maybe you're using Klee, who's using her charged attacks. There's multiple ways you can do this. But there's also ones here that boost your attack speed. And so if you're using someone like maybe like a Diluc, if you're using Klee, if you're using maybe Xiao, I don't know. There's ones here that boost up your attack speed and uh, and your normal attack damage really, really nicely. So definitely swatch, uh, swap over to those. But you're going to need to kind of pick ones that are going to fit for the main characters you're DPSing with. I think that that's pretty obvious, but I wanted to just explain that in case you didn't understand. But number two is with the difficulty. Again, you only need to get to 5,000 points. And some of these are honestly, they're freebies depending on the characters you use. So the reason I suggested Ganyu if you have her is because two of these are, are just free points. Opponents, Electro Resistance increased by 50%. Just don't use anyone Electro. Pyro resistance. Just don't use anyone pyro. And you don't have to worry about that. That is free points. Now, depending how good you are at dodging, depending on the, the you know, 
I guess the modifiers you're interested in, there are so many combinations to get this 5,000 points, it's not even funny. And if you can beat it on harder, go for it. Go for it. But, you know, I think that you can make some really good decisions here uh, for your team. So I'm going to give you a couple examples here. Let's just get rid of these. I'll just get rid of these really quickly. You're starting. If you put it on five minutes, which I think is pretty fair, and only 25% HP, it's still easy to get to 5,000. Right? But you can also crank up how much HP they have, right? And you can crank it up even more if you want. And look at this. Five minutes, expert, 200% HP. There's no penalties here. This is so simple to get to 5,000. It's not even funny. I think that, that a lot of these modifiers on here are pretty tough. So here's my recommendation. If you wanted to go smooth, if you wanted to go quick, what I would recommend you do is do this one because you're getting 300 points. I would do 100% because you're getting 300 points, and then you could just go like this. Electro, pyro, and then just choose some easy ones. If you're using shields, this one here, when not protected by a shield, character attack is decreased. Well, just use a shield. Just use a shield the majority of the time. If you've got Zhongli, you're set. Got Diona? Yes, you do. You just got her. You're set. But if you don't want to do that one, maybe you do some sprinting stuff, right? Stamina consumption, maybe you do healing effectiveness, because if you're shielding, maybe you don't need to heal. There's so many ways to do this. You need to build it around your team. I can't give you every recommendation, but I think people look at this and they get really scared and they're really worried about it. And yeah, you can get 7,500 points, you can get 8,000 points, and you can, you know, smash through this a little bit faster. In the case of me, maybe I've got a few extra rewards. But by the end of the day, you're going to have the exact same rewards as me, and I had to sweat my, you know, my booty off trying to get it. I actually forgot to say this. You can also use food buffs in this. So if you crank up the difficulty, I'm talking, I don't know if you understand how much of a buff Adeptus Temptation is, but this is like insanely good. Getting 372 base attack just makes everyone better. That's actually a huge amount of base attack to get. Uh, you know, overall, that's like half a five-star weapon, right? But also, you're getting 12% crit rate. 12% crit rate is a lot when you're adding it into your kit and you do have a lot of crit damage. That is amazing. Now, you can also use, on top of a, an offensive buff, right? Even if it's just Jade Parcels, you can also use a defensive buff. You can get defense, flat defense. You can get healing effects increased, right? There's, there's multiple things you can do, even if you just have cheap ones, but you can also use these. And so there are... Hydro, and there are cryo enemies within this. And so, you could you could drink these if you want. When's the last time you used a potion? Never? I, I can't even remember the last time. I don't think I've even used one. I don't think I've ever clicked use. Just go for it. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't got yourself some delicious M-Tash Mango Splash, if you haven't got yourself an energy drink, boys, 30% off using code MTASH30. This is a limited time offer. Go to advanced.gg slash MTASH. Pick out what you want and you can get 30% off. This stuff is better than G Fuel. It is the best energy drink for gamers or people that are just working from home. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.